Okay. No, that didn't feel right. Let's go back to where we were. Okay. It's Kristen. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing another pair of sunglasses that I got from ASOS, but this brand is one that you most likely haven't heard of before, and that's why I'm really excited to kind of introduce them to you. So if you want to know a little bit about the brand, the sunglasses, and see them on my face, please keep watching. Okay, so here they are in the case with the brand name on them. Hopefully that focuses. These are called LDNR. They are short for Londoner. This is a London-based company, as you might have guessed, um, where the sunglasses are created, developed, and handcrafted or hand-assembled in London. So I was trying to find out a little bit of information about these through their official site. Fortunately, their official site is really good for finding out style names and color combos, but it's not that good as far as history and how they got started. So luckily I stumbled across another site called I Respect and or I Respect Limited, which actually owns LDNR. So I Respect is another London-based company who owns three brands, their own brand, LDNR, and then a brand called Isle of White. I'm sorry, there's some sunglasses called Isle of White. I, I don't know why that's funny. I mean, it, it is funny though. Am I white? Okay, so uh, getting into the sunglasses, very interesting because, well, there's various things that are interesting, but first of all, I really like the case. The case for the price is absolutely perfect. Might want to mention real quick that these sunglasses, the MSRP is around 165 to 185 in US dollars, and it shows that price crossed out on ASOS, and then the pairs that they had available were anywhere from 48 to 52 dollars, and the one that I have is 52 because we all know that I have expensive taste. So, um, the sunglasses are named after certain areas in London, um, certain streets, and uh, I Respect was really good about that. If you clicked on a certain style, it tells you about the street and the people involved in the history of that area and why they decided to draw inspiration to create that certain pair of sunglasses. So, very intriguing. And it's also great to support local businesses. Not that I'm anywhere close to local, um, but if you are in the area or if you're even in the UK, at all it'd be great to check these sunglasses out. So starting with the case, you're like Kristen, get onto the sunglasses. The case is interesting and um, it's magnetic closure and it's kind of like a matte um, feel to it and it feels like it could be either plastic or cardboard and then on the sides there's these other pieces of uh, suede material which is also the same thing that you feel inside but on the sides it kind of gives and I'm not sure if the case has kind of like a purpose as far as protection or if it's just something as far as aesthetics. When you take the sunglasses out, that's what you have a few more things inside the case and I'll talk about these just a little bit more in a minute. And then inside you have a cleaning cloth which is sealed nicely in the pouch with the stamped LDNR on it. And then you have um, a little a card talking about the brand. And then their logo is a tower. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like Tower Bridge, Tower of London. Let's hope it's not the Tower of London given that history, but maybe it's just a random tower, so we're going to go with that. So the pair that I chose is the Rivington, which is known as a 002, and this is a tortoise frame. Of course, there's like four combinations I believe you can get, and you can check that out on the sites I'm going to link down below. This is tortoise frame and a dark gray lens. The other ones that were available on ASOS had brown lenses, and I wanted to go for something different. And I'm glad I did because coincidentally, these actually have filter category 4 lenses. Yes, category 4. And inside that describes that as very dark special purpose sunglasses, very high protection against extreme sun glare, e.g. at sea, over snow fields, on high mountains, or in desert. But perfect for my trip to Dubai then. Okay, so um, the first thing you notice is some little details that have to do with the brand. Inside you see LDNR and created in London. And on the outer part of the temples on both sides you have the little tower logo. So this is a 56 millimeter frame with the width and then I always have to check and I hate it, 18 millimeter nose bridge. 
So this is an oversized square frame, but more than that, I would call it a D frame pair of sunglasses. You see a lot of pairs of Linda Faro or other hot, really, really luxury uh, brands of sunglasses with shapes like this, and they would be referred to as D frame, so that's what I would call this. Um, and I really like it, but it's, um, it has to be right for your, sh for your face shape. So here, you can be the judge of that. I know it's quite oversized for me. Here's what they look like. And you get that with online shopping, it's always difficult to tell. But I'm so glad that I got to check out this brand. So even if the frame doesn't work, then you still have that. So another issue I'm having again is the temples and I'm convinced that I have a pea size head um, because here they come. So there's nothing holding them on. They've got very, very good quality temples. Um, they're very thick at the end as opposed to thin, thinner like most brands are and I really like that. They're just not tapered in enough to make them stay on my head. So that's a bit of a disappointment. On the inside though you do have uh, barrel hinges and you can see that hinge going all the way through the temple and it just shows really high quality. Again, it's a sturdy frame. I always like to kind of test how the frame feels in the front. There's no creaking or squeaking or anything like that. Lenses are set well and again that category 4 is just amazing. So that's they're thinking of eye protection as well, which is what I'm really loving about a lot of these British brands that I've been trying out. So, so far I've tried out three brands from ASOS. I've been able to try out some Whistle sunglasses, ASOS Premium Handmade, and now LDNR, and I've been so pleasantly surprised with all of them. They've all been around the $50 range, which has been extremely affordable, and I feel like these sunglasses are worth $150 to $200. So, that is excellent. So uh, as far as publicity and people who have been wearing these sunglasses, I have seen them in my research on a few kind of British personalities and even some people in sports. Um, so you could find that if you did a Google search. Also, if you're interested, I'll link their Facebook page down below where you can see some shots of these different styles on people from their personal Instagram. I'm not sure if um, it's some of the people who work with the company that post some of the shots. Either way, they're very, very helpful. So again, there's your case, and there is your LDNR Rivington sunglasses, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this brand, um, I might know something that can help you out. I don't claim to know it all by any means, because um, I just recently stumbled upon this brand, but I'd be glad to help in any way I can. So please subscribe for more similar content if you like my channel, and I'll be, I'll be happy to see you next time. Thanks so much.